Hi guys, this is Dr. Neda with Keys of Health. Our immune system is our defense mechanism. This is what keeps us healthy by fighting off the pathogens, germs, the viruses, and bacteria to maintain our state of well-being. Um, it is ever so important to take care of our immune system in a time like this when we are dealing with a pandemic, when half of the world is under a lockdown and things are not looking up. At a time like this, it is even more important than usual to learn about our immune system and give it all it needs to function properly and to stay strong. Of course, the first thing is always a well-balanced, rich diet uh, full of fruits and vegetables and healthy liquids. And the second is exercise. The more active of a lifestyle you lead, the better your immune system will be in fighting off the invaders. In this video, I want to focus on four main nutrients your immune system needs to remain healthy, and I will tell you the best ways to get these nutrients. The first nutrient, yep, you guessed it, vitamin C. Vitamin C is one of the most amazing antioxidants, and there are thousands of studies showing how vitamin C strengthens the immune system. Food sources of vitamin C include citrus fruits, berries, tomatoes, potatoes, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, peppers, cabbage, and spinach. But let's be real. Very few people actually have a diet that is rich enough in nutrients to provide adequate amounts that our body needs to function properly. So I recommend using a supplement, especially at a time like now when we are uh, dealing with this highly aggressive uh, coronavirus. Usually, I recommend a 1,000 mg of vitamin C a day if you have a well-balanced diet with plenty of raw fruits and vegetables. However, right now, I would recommend healthy adults to take 1,000 mg twice a day, so a total of 2,000 mg a day. If you contract the virus, I have recommended a plan in one of my videos, and in this case, if you contract the virus, I recommend you take 1,000 mg every eight hours, so you will be taking a total of 3,000 mg for as long as your symptoms last. Children can take uh, vitamin C, depending on the age, between 500 mg and 1,000 mg during this time. You can get small uh, tablets or a liquid form of vitamin C for children. So make sure that you don't give them uh, something that might be harsh on their system. Second nutrient that uh, is extremely important in helping you fight off viral infections is vitamin D. Again, there are hundreds of studies done on vitamin D and its ability to protect us against viral infections. People who take up to 5,000 units daily have much less colds and flu in general. This has been my experience as well with my clients. Once people's vitamin D levels stabilize, they stop getting sick as often. So ideally, it is best to get your vitamin D levels tested first. Depending on the person's current vitamin D levels, the dosage would be different. But for a healthy adult, 5,000 units a day in regular circumstances is enough. However, if you have contracted a virus, you should take it twice a day. So basically, you double the dosage to 10,000 units a day. There are foods we can take which are rich in vitamin D, like fatty fish, liver, cheese, egg yolk, and then there are fortified foods like tofu and milk. Even if you take vitamin D supplements and have a wholesome diet, don't overlook the importance of sun exposure. Sun will always be your best source of vitamin D. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, it makes vitamin D from cholesterol. So make sure you spend some time in the sun, ideally daily, but whenever possible. The third nutrient is magnesium. You know, I feel bad for magnesium. We always celebrate calcium, how calcium is so important for bone health. Magnesium is actually more important than calcium for bones. Magnesium is also responsible for more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body, all necessary for optimal health. So it is definitely not a nutrient you can afford to overlook and neglect. Unfortunately, a vast majority of people are actually deficient in this key nutrient. We should take up to 1,000 mg of magnesium a day. Personally, I find magnesium-rich foods to be quite delicious. They're easy to handle. They're easy to incorporate in your diet. I mean, how hard is it to incorporate dark chocolate, avocados, bananas, legumes, whole grains, and seeds into your diet? 
But just to be on the safe side during winter months when the flu, uh, flus and colds are more common uh, and during this time of coronavirus, I would suggest you take a magnesium supplement to give your immune system a boost. The last nutrient I want to talk about is a plant flavonoid called quercetin. It is a great antihistamine and antioxidant, so it not only prepares the body against viral infections, it also helps fight allergens. Quercetin is found only in plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, grains, nuts, and seeds. If you eat a plant-based diet, you're probably already consuming a fair amount of quercetin a day. Uh, some of the foods which are really uh, rich in quercetin are apples, onions, green pepper, red leaf lettuce, asparagus, grapes, beans, uh, tomatoes, and broccoli. Uh, black and green teas are also a really good source of quercetin. But among all the foods that have been tested, onions have the highest level of quercetin. I highly recommend you incorporate raw onions in your diet. And if you eat them right, they are quite palatable. If your diet contains mostly cooked foods and you barely eat uh, salads or, or fresh fruit daily, then I would recommend taking a supplement of 1000 mg a day. If you take a good multivitamin and mineral supplement, it might include these nutrients. Just check the supplement facts and see the dosage and then uh, compare it to the ideal dosage you should be taking of these nutrients and determine whether you actually need additional supplements or what you are taking is enough. I hope you will include these nutrients in your diet, especially during the winter months, even when we are done with this coronavirus. Until then, stay well, stay strong, stay indoors and take care of yourself. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when the next video is up. Bye-bye.